Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. This is going to be a ham radio video and um, it's to do with 8 pin DIN plugs and my transceiver and um, I'm in the kitchen at the moment because it's raining outside it's too dark in most places in the bungalow and uh, the garage is very cold but I've got a transceiver and I want to use an 8 pin DIN plug to connect to the back of it so that I can get out the audio connections the PTT and everything else and advertised on eBay was an 8 pin mini DIN plug breakout cable So in other words, it's a cable, a cable that's already attached to an 8-pin DIN plug. Uh, like this one here. I've actually pulled the sleeve back. But I slipped up on my, per on my purchase. I bought the lead and when it came, it's only got 7 wires in it. Well, a true... 8 pin breakout cable should have 9 wires and very simply it's got 8 pins and the ninth connector or wire is the screen because this is a screened plug So you have eight pins and the ninth electrical connector is the screen. It should be a screen cable because the um, coming out of this connector on the transceiver you have an eight volt connection, a ground, a screen, PTT, audio in and out and a band selector pin on some radios where it will select automatically select the band on your linear amplifier if you have one plugged in so the problem with this one is it's only seven wires and the most important pin on my transceiver is pin seven now with this lead there isn't a wire connected to pin 7 at all and it's not screened and I'll show you a picture of that the screen has not been soldered which is a little eyelet there which should have a wire through it so this breakout cable is just not suitable whatsoever for use for my transceiver because it's got audio out audio in but because there's no earth connection or ground connection not on the screen or on pin 7 there's no way you can use any of these connections because it's not referenced to ground or earth so you know I, d I don't understand why all the wires are not connected unless this is for a computer or for an audio system but if it's for an audio system it's not screened so I don't understand what's going on but to me I've bought the wrong cable so what I could do to make an earth is I could solder a wire onto here, feed it through here and then attach it with insulation tape or put sleeving all the way along this so I have an earth reference or a ground reference. So if you're thinking of using the connector on your transceiver and you buy one of these leads you may find it's not suitable so it's probably suitable for other uses but not for mine
I'll just buy a plug and solder the wires on in future. 